Hello students, welcome to West Bengal English Video Guide. Today we are going to solve the chapter 14 from class 5 geography book, Frigid Zone. So we will solve the exercise question answers and also inside question answers from the chapter. So don't skip the video, watch the video till end. If you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box and if you have missed any video then please check out the description box or playlist and don't forget to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications from the channel. So let's start frigid zone. At first we have some objective type question answers. Name them. Number one, weapon that was used to hunt seals, harpoon. Number two, this bird has a lo longest migration route, arctic turn. Number three, pole is a noun, the word in the adjective, polar. Number four, the first name that is common to the polar light, Aurora. Number five, snowstorm, blizzard. Number six, plants found in the frigid zone, Tundra. Number seven, a sea animal of this zone, Sil. Number eight, another name for Antarctica, frozen continent. Number nine, the Arctic region where vegetation grows. Tundra. Now we have some question answers before we start question answers. Again requesting you to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications from the channel. Let's start number one. Where are the frigid zones located? The frigid zones lie at the extreme north of the northern hemisphere and the extreme south of the southern hemisphere. Number two. Name the areas that lie in each of the hemispheres of the frigid zone. The northern frigid zone includes the northern parts of the continents of Asia, Europe and North America and the uh, Arctic ice. The southern frigid zone, the Antarctic, includes the continent of Antarctica. Number 3. Describe briefly the climate of the frigid zone. Northern Hemisphere. Extremely cold, mostly frozen water, strong winds and blizzards, snowstorm that means in water, small belt of melted snow in summer in some parts of Europe. Southern Hemisphere. Completely frozen throughout the year. Cold, windy and dry with hardly any new snowfall. Number 4. Give the reasons why this region has 6 months of alternate day and night. This region experiences 6 months of day and 6 months of night. This happens because of the tilt of the earth's axis, the orbit along which the earth revolves around the sun, the location of the region at and near the poles. Number 5. Why do the polar regions have no vegetation? As the ground frozen almost throughout the year, it is very difficult to grow plants in this region. So the polar regions have no vegetation. Number six, what is tundra vegetation? Moss, lichen, berry, bearing plants, small trees and bushes during summer is called tundra vegetation. In what ways are northern? And southern hemisphere different. The northern frigid zone lies between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole, whereas the southern frigid zone lies between the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole. Next point people live in only in the coastal regions in northern hemisphere. In southern hemisphere, no permanent settlers are there. Number three, in northern hemisphere, they are cheap or uh, chief. Occupation is hunting and fishing. In Southern Hemisphere, their main occupation is based on tourist and scientific research. Last point, the continents in Northern Frigid Zone are Asia, Europe and North America and the Arctic ice. The Southern Frigid Zone includes the continents of Antarctica. Number 8. In what ways are the animals of the northern and southern hemispheres different. The northern hemisphere has both land and sea animals like polar bear, reindeer, walrus, arctic hares, 
but the southern hemisphere has only sea animals like elephant seal and different kinds of whales number 9 what are the dangers that human beings face due to the zone getting warmer a huge amount of air pollution is making the earth warmer research shows that the higher temperatures are causing ice on the frozen land and water to melt the melting ice releases huge quantities of water into our oceans which makes sea levels rise all over the world if this continues low lying areas and islands in many parts of the world will flood and disappear now we have some extra question answers from the chapter before we start again requesting you don't forget to like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications from the channel let's start the extra question answers from the chapter number 1 which area is called frigid zone the areas around the poles have the same kind of frozen surface like the icy plate where it is frozen all year round and difficult for any life to survive it is extremely cold and is called frigid zone number 2 what are polar ice caps in both hemispheres the permanently frozen parts of the frigid zone are called polar ice caps number 3 why is antarctica called the frozen continent antarctica is called the frozen continent as it is always ice here Here we have an extra fill in the blanks from the chapter number four. The region around the North Pole is frozen water, whereas in the South Pole it is frozen land. Number five. Describe the natural vegetation and the frigid uh, of the frigid zone. Northern hemisphere very difficult for plant life or ground frozen almost throughout the year, mainly dormant plant. most lichen berry bearing plants small trees and bushes during summer called tundra vegetation southern hemisphere does not support plant life as land either frozen or barren rock very small parts that are sheltered from the wind have tundra vegetation number 6 describe the animal life of the frigid zone northern hemisphere land and sea mammals polar bear fish eating reindeer moose eating walrus arctic horses arctic hares uh, birds butterflies mosquitoes and black flies in summer no reptiles southern hemisphere sea animals like elephant seal and different kinds of whales migratory sea birds albatross petrels terns cormorants Penguins are the region's best known birds, the flightless birds. 7 what is polar light? Sometimes the night sky in the zone is lit up by spectacular arcs, bands and patches of red and green lights. These are called polar lights. Number 8 what are polar lights called in northern and southern hemisphere? In northern hemisphere polar lights are called aurora borealis in southern hemisphere it is called aurora australis number 9 uh, write the ways by which animals adapt themselves with the environment in the frigid zone nature has helped animals that live in the frigid zone to adapt to the environment in the following ways natural adaptations some animals like the arctic form fo- um, arctic fox Arctic fox and ermine have a thick coat to protect them which becomes thicker during the winter and changes color to white they um, this animal blends this animal blends with the icy environment and thus cannot be easily seen hibernation some animals escape the cold by hibernating for many months the arctic ground squirrel hibernates in an underground burrow which some other animals sleep in dark undisturbed warmer sorry undisturbed warmer places 
migration these are several other animals that migrate from colder regions to warmer regions the arctic tern flies every year from the arctic to the antarctic and back number 10 how traditional life is different from early days to nowadays traditional life in earlier days traditional life at now earlier the people lived in tents now many of them live in permanent homes made of wood earlier people hunted using traditional spear like weapons called harpoons now they use guns earlier they used sledges pulled by dogs to move around now they move around in snow mobiles so we we'll solve the chapter frigid zone from class 5 chapter 14 geography book so don't forget to like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications from the channel on the right time if you have missed any video then please check out the playlist or description box and if you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box that's all for today again see you soon with a new video till then take care and bye